City of St. Paul will ask residents for a 1% sales tax increase this fall. City leaders say it will raise nearly a billion dollars over two decades for parks and roads. Renee Cooper is live in St. Paul with the plan to catch up on what the city calls overdue long term fixes. Renee. The entire stretch of Grand Avenue here is on the list of projects that would be included in the tax increase. There was just one no vote from a city council member who says plans didn't turn out as initially presented in the wake of a massive pothole season. Our starting point in this effort was we need a source that will pay, in, in the case of streets, about $30 million a year you know, to help us get caught up on our main streets. St. Paul Public starting, Works Director uh, Sean Kershaw hasn't been shy about the city's backlogged need for road repairs. Parks and Rec Director Andy Rodriguez says it's no different for the city's 184 parks, looking at $100 million of deferred maintenance. Um, we can trickle away at those things year to year, but the longer we wait, um, the more costs will accumulate. That's why Mayor Melvin Carter proposed, and the city council late last week approved, a ballot measure to ask voters this fall whether they're willing to raise the citywide sales tax by 1% to build a new rec center among several Capitol Parks projects and to completely reconstruct these main roads. We would be raising our sales tax to almost 10% and among the very highest in the state. The ballot measure got a yes vote from all but Eastside Council Member Jane Prince. I believe that people believed that it would impact their the quality of their residential street. When city leaders held a press conference earlier this year, Prince says she thought the money would be going to fill potholes. That's not the case. Having an event at the asphalt plant and talking about potholes when we're going up to the legislature to ask for this money, I think was somewhat misleading. It's not misleading at all for two reasons. We have potholes because our streets are so old and need to rebuild and need to be rebuilt, and this program will rebuild the streets. It's also not, not misleading because this program has identified some of the worst streets out there. I don't disagree that that's work that needs to be done, but people do not know that, that the sales tax use will be limited to that. I believe that people didn't know that. Prince also raised concern over the impact to businesses if people decide to shop outside the city because of the increased tax. Now, Kershaw and Rodriguez said it was either this or an even larger increase to property taxes. Kershaw added they are working on a short-term plan to patch potholes throughout the city this year. In St. Paul, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.